Hi everyone, 48 First Alert meteorologist Chelsea Aaron here on this week's episode of Connecting with Chelsea. If you can't tell where I am, I'm at Big Spring Park and I'm with my sidekick. This is Hazel. I don't know if you've seen her around, but she has her special booties on because we talk a lot as meteorologists about excessive heat and the dangers of heat, but did you know physical surfaces can be even hotter? So we're going to talk about the science of how the makeup and also the color of physical surfaces can determine the temperature it will be. And we want to make sure we are keeping your family, also your pets safe the summer season. So first things first, we're going to be taking temperatures of different objects and we're looking at grass right now. I took two different temperatures and you're going to notice the difference between these two. An area of grass that's been in direct sunlight for a couple of hours versus an area of grass that has been shaded underneath a tree for a couple of hours. For this particular day, our high temperature is 88 degrees. As you notice, the average temperature of the shaded grass is right around 80 degrees, whereas the average temperature of the grass that's been in direct sunlight is right around 93 degrees. That's nearly a 13 degree difference. While 93 degrees is still relatively hot, the likelihood of it burning your feet or your pets is very low. Now the average temperature of the concrete that had been sitting in direct sunlight for a few hours was around 101 to 103 degrees. This is nearly 10 degrees above the average for the blade of grass that had been sitting in direct sunlight. And you may ask yourself, this has a lighter surface. You would be thinking it would reflect heat, but essentially it all comes down to density. Blades of grass, much less dense than concrete. And so it's going to absorb that heat. And then as a result, produce much higher temperature. Now asphalt usually has the highest temperature making it the hottest surface amongst all of the surfaces. We did an average temperature recorded right at 113 degrees. Why is this usually the highest surface you may ask? Well essentially because it has a darker color. Darker colors are able to absorb a more of the visible light spectrum and what happens is the energy from that light is then converted to heat which equates to much higher temperatures when you compare much lighter surfaces such is concrete. While this is not a perfect science by any means, here's just some guidelines as far as your air temperature and just how hot different surfaces could be, especially if you're trying to take your pet out for a walk. With an air temperature of 85 degrees, the concrete will be registering near 105 degrees, whereas the asphalt could be as high as 125 degrees. And with air temperatures close to triple digits, note your concrete temperature could get up to 135 degrees, whereas the asphalt could be a whopping 160 degrees. If it's too hot for your bare feet, it's going to be way too hot for your pet's feet. Well, that's all today from me and Hazel on this week's Connecting with Chels. Stay tuned for more on how weather can impact your daily life.